We're going to bring in one of the uh, stars of a series called Selling Sunset, Jason Oppenheim, and the reunion special now streaming on Netflix along with all of the seasons. So, Jason, first of all, it's great to have you on. Yeah, thank you much, Ryan. It's good to be on. Tell me, in hindsight, and I've got a little experience with reality television, in hindsight, is it worth it? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm going to go with yes. It is. What yeah, is because I'm filming with my best friends, and I think it's been, as a whole, I think it's been great for them, and, and I think that has provided me a lot of happiness as well. So you, you're filming with your best friends, then you're filming your relationship, then your relationship ends, and then you, Chriselle is with someone else, and you see all of that, and I can't help but think that hurts. That's tough. Uh, there have been so, I mean, that's just such a, a, a difficult question. There's so much there to unpack. But, um, you know, in some ways, I think it was kind of cathartic going through the reunion episode with her, as much as I was not looking forward to that, to be honest. Sure. Um, I feel like I came out of that um, awkwardly better and and even closer with Chris Shell. You know, I mean, we're in a, we're in a good place. So, um, you know, I don't think there's any breakup that's easy. For me, yeah. I don't think the fact that it was public made it any more difficult. I don't generally get affected by that, but just the breakup in and of itself was difficult. And has it been, has doing Selling Sunset been good for business? Yeah, I think it has. I think there's, you know, it's hard to draw direct links, but I think that it is certainly, because our business was increasing every year anyway, so it's kind of hard to tell right. where it would be without the show, but I would have to, venture to say the show has has helped in, in, in some respect. So let's just break out of the sunset world and talk about all of Southern California in general. From your view, I mean, home buying has been in a certain place that we haven't seen in a long time. No contingencies and people getting multiple offers very, very quickly. What do you see for the next year or two for those listening in both L.A. and Orange County that might be wanting to sell or buy? So, you know, I usually am more confident when I answer a question like that, but I think we're going through just a kind of a difficult transition. I would, I'm generally optimistic, uh, cautiously optimistic, because I think there's very little supply and there's still a ton of money out there and a ton of, ton of demand. I think the 1%, which is really where, where I sell, um, is still doing very well. Uh, and I also think that interest rates are getting so high that a lot of people aren't gonna sell their home because they've got a great interest rate. Uh, so why, you know, so I think that you're going to see even less inventory, um, although generally probably less demand. I just think home sales, home volume of sales is going to decrease dramatically. Not great for agents, not great for real estate brokerage, but I think home buyers are going to kind of be in a homeostasis for the next couple of years. We're on with uh, Jason Oppenheim from Selling Sunset. So I want to ask you and tanya and sisney were both asking me this about you and i so i don't know i haven't talked to him yet but looking at what we talk about here on this show we talk about tanya's with her boyfriend sisney's married yes. you are kind of my age and unmarried what are your thoughts about marriage I, I try not to look too far into the future but i think if i had to guess i think at some point i'd like to be married and have a family i just don't just not there yet you know i'm not going to rush myself um the 40s of you know the 2020s are not the 40s of you know the 1980s or the 1950s i mean um i'm i'm gonna live till i'm probably 90 something statistically i i think you know 30 40 years with the same person is plenty <laughs> uh, i love your answer <laughs> and i and i want to i want to focus on you know, what, what gives me purpose right now and what makes me happy. I'm certainly not going to listen to, I think, societal constraints and yeah, just listen to myself. So I've been trying to say that. What do you mean, yeah to him? <laughs> I've been trying to tell you that for 10 years, We're Tanya. not pressuring you, Ryan. We're oh not pressuring gosh, you. You have no idea, not, Jason. Wait, Jason, I'm so excited for selling the OC. What mm, can you tell us about this spinoff? Oh, yeah. Thanks for asking. I'm actually funny when, I, when we wrap this up. What's up? I'm heading there, uh, for a team meeting right now, but I I could not be more excited. I have so much fun with with those agents. I have so much fun filming down there. I love the office. I mean, it, that the office is so epic. Uh, I, I I've got a place down there, and I, I like Newport. So I mean, yeah, me too. Generally, I just love everything about 
everything down there, including the show. I think the show is going to be really, really good. I think it's kind of like a, like a, it's a little different, you know, it's a, it's a, a younger, a little more like, let it all hang out. Um, no, I think they, they had a chance to watch Selling Sunset. So I think for them, you know, they kind of knew what they were getting into, knew, like they just didn't have any inhibitions. Whereas I, I feel like we kind of were creating that genre and kind of, you know, I think a little hesitant to kind of understand what was going on in the process. Well, congratulations on the spin-off. And if you haven't seen it, you can check it out on Netflix and the reunion as well. Jason Oppenheim, nice chatting with you, pal. Take good yeah, care. It's nice to meet you. Okay, bud. Take care of yourself. Bye guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Good looking guy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> He's an identical twin, too. Yeah, well, I'm just saying his shirt's unbuttoned to his navel. I, w- I wanted to say something, but I just didn't feel like him and I were, like, on that level well, yet. No, no, we're not. That's what we're talking about now that he's gone. <laughs> I yeah. was like, yo, the deep V. What I up? mean, I don't know where the button connected, but it was way below Buzz my up. frame. Party Nibiza. Yeah. <laughs> but it makes me think we should do more of that. I know. You, we should get that link. Get that link. You do that, Ryan. You want me to do that? You do you it know, naturally. I, but that comes across as cheesy. He looks good. I know. It did look good on him. Yours doesn't oh. come across that cheesy. Yeah, sometimes it does. We make fun of them. Yeah. It's okay. It's part of being me. I get it. Like some some days it's cheesy. Other days it's just borderline. <laughs>